All right, well, we've got uh, the fag end of the earnings season and lots of companies have been declaring numbers over the last couple of hours. Schaefer India is the stock in the company on our radar right now. If you look at the fourth quarter print, then the weakness has persisted. It's also the last uh, sort of uh, quarter for them because they follow the calendar year to 2019. To discuss the outlook going forward, we have with us Harsha Kadam, CEO of Schaefer India. Harsha, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. Great to have you on the show. Now, as I'm looking at the fourth quarter roundup for you, again, revenues are down about 12%. EBITDA is on the lower side. You've managed to more or less maintain margins, though year on year, there's some pressure there as well. We want to understand if it's getting any better. First of all, can you say, when you look at the OEMs that you do business with, is there a bottom in place with respect to auto demand or not? Thank you, Surbi. Uh, thank you for inviting me for this show. Uh, to answer to your question, yes, last year was a very turbulent year, a strong headwinds with a weak market demand. However, uh, we were able to be a little more agile than what we used to be. So this was a year, I would say, as a test of agility for Shakla India. And uh, we got our act together and we were able to to leverage the integration that happened with the three companies, three entities into one and we addressed various uh, areas of our operations. We began to flex our costs which helped us in uh, managing to you know, arrest the further downslide on the profitability. Uh, while on the other hand we also looked at eliminating a lot of waste in the value chain. Uh, there was a strong focus on that. And every and the, the the entire effort was cascaded down to the last man in the organizations. Uh, we managed to look at every element of the cost, be it freight, be it energy, uh, even even the temporary workmen. We had to balance them out to 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 manage right. the profitability picture. Harsha, well, this works. All right, Harsha, Sorry, if you, could, you know, uh, if you could tell us the synergy benefits in terms of quantity, what were they once you merged all the three entities? And uh, revenue mix, 42% I believe comes from industrial, 58% from the auto space. Uh, if you could tell us, you know, how that is likely to pan going forward? Yes, uh, take your first question, uh, that's on the synergy. Uh, having integrated the three entities into one, uh, it has helped us to, you know, uh, work together as one team. And uh, earlier we had, uh, uh, with customers and at business level, uh, you know, different teams working at different levels. And all that has been now done. We have do optimized our resources, got our act together. Uh, in addition to that, we have also been able to synergize our entire logistics footprint, so which has helped us improve the service level in front of the customers. We have been able to even synergize operational activities in the plants, uh, which produce both for the automotive and the industrial place. All in all, uh, we also have now moved all the entire sales team into one office, and that is helping us to a lot to bring in a lot better synergy going forward. Uh, coming to your question on the distribution, yes, we have a, a very well-balanced portfolio between the industrial and the automotive. And uh, while the automotive had faced strong headwinds in terms of weak demand, the industrial space still continue to help Shafla India uh, put in a much better performance, uh, particularly some of the sectors within the industrial space, uh, being the railways, the wind, uh, did exceedingly well. And uh, with a strong presence in these segments, we were able to ride the wave, so to say. What I see going forward is, yes, uh, the distribution would, would be maintained at the same level as we progress into this year. And going forward, our entire strategy is to keep the balance. Uh, we, will, we want to be known as a strong automotive and an industrial player in the market. Okay, is there a number to it? I mean, something that you can kind of give us, uh, uh, you know, in terms of what was the quantum of the synergy benefits, if, if it can be put in a number, Mr. Kadam? Uh, well, in terms of percentages, uh, at the overall level, one to one and a half percent, we have been able to, you know, leverage on the cost front uh, with the synergy effects coming in. Uh, uh, since it's, it's a host of activities across the organizations and uh, we had set out with a clear plan in mind on, on effecting these actions in place so as to you know, leverage the entire uh, synergy effect. And we were able to do that last year 
uh, with the market slowdown, the synergizing actually helped us. Okay, so got it. So one to one and a half percent at least benefit on cost. I'm going to go back to my original question, and so we're a little short on time. So if you could just give us, you know, uh, an outlook into uh, 2020. In the fourth quarter, your auto business is down almost 22 percent. What we want to understand is. Uh, when does growth return? Do you have any visible green shoots in both parts of the business, the automotive segment as well as industrial? What should we expect in the first quarter of the calendar year, second quarter? Uh, what we saw in the last quarter of 2019 mm -hmm. was a spurt in increase in demand coming from the automotive sector. Actually, the automotive sector did well for us in the last quarter. Uh, and uh, this was coming on the backdrop of some more demand coming in from BS4 vehicles and uh, that helped us to, to, to put in post better numbers in the last quarter uh, which we will have to wait and watch now that the BS6 uh, uh, is going to be kicking in from 1st of April we will have to see what the market, how the market responds to the new uh, cost increases that will be attributed to the vehicles that are coming uh, nevertheless, uh, we at Shackler, we are ready with the technology shift that has happened because of uh, the shift from BS4 to BS6. Mm -hmm. We are ready for the change. Uh, also coming on the industrial side, actually industrial was a little weak in demand in the last quarter of 2019. Uh, it's almost fell 13% in that quarter, uh, coming on the backdrop of a lot of uh, uh, CapEx hold coming in from our customers and that's that slowed down the industrial growth story going into 2020 i do see that we will have a muted growth on the automotive side however industrial we still believe we will be continuing to post strong growth harsha thanks a lot for stopping by and detailing those numbers for us uh, we wish you the best for 2020 and let's hope that you achieve all that you've guided for and more with that we'll sip into a short break come back get you more on the markets as well as stock specific action stay tuned